Mr. Ryan, art teacher and master of the elements, command lightning! That's not lightning. Ah, well, guys, I don't have any mutant powers, but if I did, it would be awesome to be like Storm from X-Men. And today, that's who we're going to draw. So, as always, you're going to need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And for colors today, we'll be using brown, yellow, and red. One more time. Lightning! Oh, oh. Good morning and happy Monday. Today we're going to be drawing Storm from X-Men. Storm is going to be flying in the center of our paper. We're going to start from her head and we're going to build her kind of forward. So, the first thing we're going to do is make Storm's face and head. We're going to start that in the middle of our paper. And I'm going to start it with a circle shape. This will represent the top part of her head. And then from that circle shape, I'm going to bring down two lines. That will be the side of our head. And I'm going to put straight down the middle, the very bottom, a little line that I want to bring both of my side lines to in order to make the bottom. So we're rounding to this area in order to give her a chin. So this gives us the start of our head and a basic human head, male or female. But this is going to read more female because we round the chin instead of making it more pronounced. After that, we are going to put on some facial features. So above this curved line, right across, we're going to make a line that's going to be for our eye line. and. We're going to make one eye by slightly angling down Lisa's face and make the same line again. And we're going to make an, another angled line under it, giving these kind of that eyeball shape. You know, like kind of like a football or an elongated oval with some of points at the end of it. A little bit below that bottom of the original circle that we made. I'm going to put a line going across to show where my nose is going to be. And then right down from the middle of my eyes, below my nose, I'm going to put a dot right where the middle of my eye falls. And that's where my mouth is going to be. And I'm going to make a smile line going from one side to the other. I'm going to add some eyebrows. I'm going to V them a little bit to give her a little bit of attitude, right? And then after this, we'll go back and finish her face later. But now I'm going to start making her body. Right next to her eyes on each side, we're going to bring a line out a little bit below. And that line is going to angle out. This is going to be the top of her shoulder pads. Then we're going to angle lines in and we're going to curve each side to the middle and this is going to make the top of her chest and the upper body which we see after that we're going to build some arms out now remember what I said these are shoulder pads so a little bit under each shoulder pad we're going to bring out straight line. Then parallel to it, we're going to make another one. Notice it is a little thicker up here than it is. It kind of gets thinner as it goes out. So you can do that too. And I'm going to do this on both sides. At the end of both of these, I'm going to make a circle. because That's where my hand is going to be. If her arms feel kind of small, it's okay. We're working in perspective right now. Like I said, she's going to be coming forward towards us. So things are going to look weird until we put it all together. 
So we have our body, our arms, our head. We're going to make our legs. And like I said, because of perspective, they're going to look a little different than we usually would draw legs. So starting from the side here, I'm going to make a line at an angle. And it's going to become an oval. It's going to go over, it's going to round, and it's going to come right back in to about where the middle of the chest is. Then next to it, we're going to do the same thing again, but just a little bit smaller. Same thing. It's a line kind of going out at an angle. This is going to give us some flying legs kind of pushed up behind her. All right. Now at the end of our hands here, I like you guys make a curve line up. This is going to be our fingers coming off the top. I'm going to bring that down, curve it around, and then make a little thumb. Curve at the top, bring it down, and make a little thumb. Now, our two last big details that are going to give us a lot of movement and expression in this picture are going to be Storm's hair and Storm's cape. Now she's going to be flying through the sky, and we want to make sure her cape is flailing out. Storm has a special cape that starts at her back and comes down and goes up to her wrist. So if you think about starting like right behind her back and going down, and going back up to her wrist, we're going to do that, and then we're going to trace that again. Make these nice two big circular shapes. Like I said, you now these give an area for wind to move through to help lift her into the air as she flies, and also just makes her costume look so much cooler. For her hair, I'm going to create a large shape, kind of like that halos her head to start with, but then. On one side, I'm going to kind of come out to the side with some wavy lines. And then I'm going to overlap over her forehead right into those wavy lines. Giving some hair. And just for fun, I'm going to give her some lightning bolt earrings with zigzag lines. One side up, in, up, in. What I do on one side, I do on the other. So now we have some cool earrings. Awesome. Now here's the outside of our character. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest of her details. First thing I'm going to do is go back up to her face. I'm going to put couple side lines on her nose now that I know where it is and I'm gonna fill in her lips by making a bottom lip and curving the top line to make an upper lip I'm gonna keep her eyes white seeing how she's using her powers but if you want to put a pupil in you're welcome to on the up part of her outfit I'm gonna make two circles these are gonna be where her X's are so we're going to put an X going through each. So we have our hair, our eyes, our body. I think it's time to ink, guys. Inking is when we go over the lines that we want to make them definite. And us to our final project. So, I'm definitely going to go over my ears. A little bit here. By ears, I mean earrings. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Monday. And then we're going to do our hair. Notice I'm going to, I start out with that halo shape, but I'm definitely going to keep my lines nice and wavy. Makes it look like she's blowing in the wind. Using her powers. Mutant gift. eyes and then after I get my eyes done 
I'm going to use my black to kind of put a little bit more emphasis on the top of the eyelid to make them look more like eyelashes. Give her a fe more female look. My lips. My face. Really nice lines here. My X here. I am actually going to create little triangles around my X. So if I put these little triangles, what happens is the outer shape now becomes the X and it has a nice cool filled in X on the inside. It's a little trick. Down here to my legs. All the way up to those knees there. And then I'm gonna kind of a little bit of a bend where the elbow might be. Give a sense of proportion or parts to our arm. So it does narrow, but just give it a little bit more of a narrow spot where that elbow might be. Coming in. All my fingers. My hands there. And last but not least, a really cool cape. No one has a cool cape like storm. One of a kind. I love it. And then on my cape I'm going to add one more line because I'm going to outline this with yellow. So I'm make sure I put that there. Alright, let's give it some color. Alright guys, I'm all done. You might notice I put a couple lightning effects in the background. Make sure you give Storm a cool use of powers, whether it's lightning, tornadoes, rain, whatever you put is going to be awesome. Afterwards, make sure you sign it. To let people know you're all done and you're proud of your amazing work. Alright guys, we're all done for today. I hope you had a great time drawing Storm with me, and I can't wait till tomorrow. Until then, be kind and creative, and we will see you tomorrow for more art class. Bye-bye.